morning bright and early on a monday morning gang's awake hanging out chilling zoe's already at school pops is going to be heading off to do some beekeeping today i'm going to be holding it down here in the house we broke the news this morning to dean that we need to kind of rework the wall for this kitchen design which basically means that we need a massive header and we're going to be bringing this whole wall out so we just need to have enough room in the budget to do that project so yeah it's a monday morning and they're busy at work Peeps, it's a very happy Wednesday, and yesterday was a bit disconcerting. Disconcerting? Whatever that fancy word is. Uh, the guys busted open that window wall, and in doing so, the load from the bricks just sort of kind of crumbling down a bit, and there's a big crack in the side. So they're gonna work on jacking it up, getting it sorted, and making sure that that wall right here doesn't just crumble down. We're gonna take the sexy truck that Pop has been working on, Come for a joy ride with us. Babes. <laughs> have to do like a 50 point turn. Just don't want to hit Dean's truck. I don't mind hitting the Jeep. Has a bench seat, so this is fun. Like the olden days. It's a 1991 Ford F250 that Babes bought for $1,000 from a man who had driven it right before Babes drove, test drove it. So she drove okay, right? Oh yeah. And then uh, when we went to pick her up, we learned a few things about this truck. There's two gas tanks, one of which has a hole in it. So when we filled the gas tank up, it just leaked the gas out. The other gas tank shows up half full when actually it's empty. This is a purr. I don't know if it's a purr or like an angry growl. So if we were to look here on this uh, captain station, basically none of these dials work. They installed a new dial down here for the um, oil temperature. The uh, window on the passenger side doesn't work. Pop had to put a new motor on the window on the driver's side. The clutch was replaced with Billy, so that is awesome. The radio looks Ancient. really rusty and like it definitely does not work. There's no heat, there's no AC. There is heat. The uh, window wipers don't work. Just watch what she says, she's a great ride. What did you decide to call her? Oh. The Black Beast or the Black Beauty? Uh, she's kind of like a Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> she's a little bit of both. She definitely decides if she wants to run or not. For a $1,000 truck, she's allowed us to go pick up soil and work on garden beds and now fall off all this junk. We're grateful to have a truck and it's fun to go for a joyride in, in this tour. Plus, it's nice having another stick shift around. And with that, we'll go into the dump. Da, da, da. <laughs> While I was like clearing out, I guess, the basement, there's all this junk that's down there, like the carpet from upstairs that used to be, I guess, on the wood floors. And then like a bunch of old rotted out doors, things that they kind of had left to be neglected, sitting in the wetness that was down prior to all the work that we did with the French train. Which, by the way, so far has been working, so that's encouraging. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna get these upstairs rooms done today. Yeah. Fidel's been crushing it with the um, plaster work upstairs, it's looking really good. Been doing multiple layers and like adding strip tape to kind of hold everything together and then the screws will help prevent further cracking down the road, so that's also really good. Not prevent the cracking, prevent the plaster from... Crumbling away. Like pulling popping away, off. yeah, popping off. Yeah. But it looks really, really good. I'm excited to be able to have that area done. Get the bathroom demo done and then we could start kind of like 
coming back in upstairs. Yeah, because I need that bus next week for my dude's trip. The guys are taking the van and the bus for a trip. Me and Mackenzie and Zay are going to have to navigate, hopefully, no work upstairs because we're going to have to be sleeping upstairs and hopefully using the kitchen downstairs. So we'll see how things kind of play out. I just want to take a moment to give a big thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. You guys all know that we love our Jackery units so, so, so much. We've been using them around the house and also plan to use them this summer on big adventure trips for our camping expeditions. And when we were living in the bus and living very much off grid, it's so helpful to have a way to power your phone, your camera gear, your laptops, whatever it is that you need to charge. You can hook these things up to solar power and be able to recharge all your gear and in some cases appliances with some of their bigger Jackery portable charging units. And if you guys have been waiting for a sale or a way to snag one of these things on a special offer, then be sure to tune in because Jackery are going to be running some summer sales. You'll be able to get up to 15% off some of their amazing models that they've got, as well as be sure to check out their most recent release that they just put out for Jackery Day. Big thank you to Jackery for being such an amazing sponsor. We really appreciate you guys and love your product. Also, if you guys are planning on going on any summer camping trips, drop it in a comment below. We'd love to know where you guys are going and get some secret spot locations that are some of your favorite travel places. So we're looking forward to hopefully having a stand-up paddleboard expedition, excursion, adventure, and can't wait for the summer months to even begin. About to run out and go get say, but I thought I'd show you some progress that's been made here. The wall is back open again. We um, had a situation where it started cracking up above and they were originally gonna, I guess, jack it up and then decided that it needed to all come down because the header was too low for the windows that we have. So they rebuilt it after demoing this like top portion up here and put just like traditional framing and a proper header and opened it all up and it's the right size and height for the windows that we're gonna put here. We had originally decided on three windows, but the width of the windows was a bit awkward and the spacing that we had was too wide, so it didn't feel as open as we wanted it to be. So we took that down and now we're getting another window and having four windows across here and having like as minimum as a space as possible, like in between each window. So while we wanted the center window right above the sink, I think we're gonna have a beam right there, but hopefully it won't be too like invasive, I guess and be able to maximize the width of this opening here because that was really the priority to be able to make it feel open, bright and really airy in here. As for this wall here that we have to demo, we're waiting until June 3rd until the structural engineer can come and assess and see what kind of like support we need to do to I guess brace the weight of the wall above because there's floor load and wall load from directly above this wall here. So this wall is kind of on standby and we've been really just focusing on getting this whole wall set up with the windows framed and ready to go because that's needs to be done so that we can put the counters and all that here. This weekend my cousin is getting married so I'm really excited to go and be a part of the celebration of their wedding and love and all the stuff that comes with weddings, you know. And we're also gonna be combining the trip with a big adventure up to Pennsylvania. A very kind duo have offered us a retro oven. So it's a perfect size, about a 36 inch wide oven. And we're gonna go and snag that on Monday. So I have an oven to go in the space, which is also very exciting. It just means that today is us getting ready for the adventure all the way up there. Justin is off beekeeping and has a big honey tasting event. It's just busy around here, you know? Regular old shenanigans happening. Oh yeah, we went to the library the other day and got a couple books and I told Zay that I wanted to get something for myself because she got all these cool books for her. And I found this one and I was like, this is gonna be a fun read. So it's been really cool to like dig through and get inspired and look at some fun ideas. I really love the way she designs and creates space. She's got a very modern aesthetic and doesn't always do the farmhouse thing. I like that she finds ways to kind of fuse industrial or bohemian or modern or minimal, like all these different kind of genres of interior design into like one space. So I think that book is 
pretty cool and is going to be really helpful to have as inspiration. With that said, I've got to run out the door and go get Zay. I'm going to go. Bye. is the drive up to Pennsylvania? It's like four hours. Oh my god, so it's like a six hour drive. That's not bad. Yeah, but with Zay, it's a lot, you know? Oh, well, she does great in the car now. She does. You uh, rented a sexy Tacoma, that'll be exciting. Yeah, we had to get something. It's like just barely, the oven just barely didn't fit in the Jeep. Yeah, it was like too wide or tall. Yeah, tall. You rented it through this one company there. What's the company? You're um, good at finding like alternative solutions. It's called uh, Turo.com. It's just like a car sharing service. It's like, I know this is so cheesy and overused, but it's like the Airbnb of cars. It's been like in the 90s the last couple of days and we're not going to be back until Monday evening, so we are super soaking these new plants that we put over here. And the ones in the front, and our like small selection of edibles. We have some tomatoes, beans, and I also planted ignatias. Those are not edible, but yeah, they're still babies, so I'm hoping they'll pull through because they're in pots. I'm so excited to be included in a weekend full of love. I know, me too. I can't believe my cousin's getting married. It's going to be a very princess-like wedding, I feel. She's she, an actor. Yeah, she's a, an actress, and she she lived in New York for a while and like did Broadway shows. She did shows out in Europe as well, in Germany. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, see her in her wedding dress and getting married and celebrating the big day of love. So let's, let's get to it, yeah? Welcome back to the house. Justin and Zay Zay just headed off today for school. Justin's be keeping out in the country today, so he took Odin, which is exciting. The trip, wow, was such a whirlwind. <laughs> Drove all the way up to Philadelphia and picked up this oven. Thank you so much to MJ and Bob who reached out to us and we're like, we have this amazing oven from like the 50s and we're gonna try and see if we can make it work. I'm not sure how it's gonna fit with the space, primarily just because I didn't notice until after that we have like this temperature gauge here on the side and we're gonna have counters that kind of come right here. So we'll have to kind of navigate that and just make sure that it's something that's gonna work with the space. So we'll see how that goes. But it's so beautiful and it's so cool to have something so retro that fits the kind of era of the house. While we were gone, the team came in and kind of were finishing to work on this window wall on the inside. So they were getting these walls prepped out here for all the trim pieces that are gonna go in and some really amazing window sills. They also worked on the other side to kind of get the trim of the window finished out as well. They started demoing the opening for this door. We're still not sure if we're gonna do this whole wall and we have to wait for the structural engineer to come and talk with us but for right now they started demoing so we can kind of get a feel for how it looks like to be like a port of the space across the way. They started removing a bit on this kitchen wall. We used to have cabinets here. Um, and they're gonna keep working today on demoing this whole space and kind of clearing this whole thing out here. Look how funny this wallpaper is. How about that <laughs> for your kitchen wallpaper? Yeah, I don't know, here we are. It's another rainy, gloomy day, so the team is gonna be working inside and we're gonna have to problem solve what's happening downstairs because the leak is still there. I guess with renovations, things still go wrong and here we are, things are still going wrong, but that's okay. Everything is kind of busy right now and we're gonna have to move the fridge and the oven into another space and kind of clear this space out so they can really demo this whole room. It's all very exciting, we're moving along. to put the 
fridge. It's right here in the hallway. We also have no working kitchen now in the house. So we discovered after a huge amount of rain that the work they did on the side of the house when they built the French drain, which they basically dug seven feet into the ground on the outside of the house and then set up a French drain to help kind of funnel that water away. I guess there's still a leak and somehow there's water coming into the house. Right here, this like hole right here, it was like shooting out the water. I guess they're gonna have to dig it back up and figure out where the leak and water is still funneling into the house through. So there's that. They're uh, working on fixing up the flooring after demoing over here because it had a massive leak where the sink was and it's all rotted wood so they have to fix the subfloor. Hey Pop. Oh. oh hey. The uh, guys were taking a shovel and covering this ground with some sort of water mixture with like soapiness or something. Pulling up all the nails and everything. They patched up this hole over here and put like a new subfloor right down here. This whole area feels huge now. Especially once they get this wall opened up. It's gonna feel amazing. The after work assessment. The day's work that I've been stuck listening to all day. <laughs> How's it feel? take a picture. Hold it tight, don't drop it. <laughs> Good job, Good job Pause the video just for a brief moment because it's been so long since I've sat down with this book, Journey to the Hort. Yeah, we had it packed up in storage and recently I've just had this deep longing and need to kind of have something to hold on to each day. And so I went back into the storage upstairs where we had packed everything up to get out of the way of the workers and dug it back up from my bedside table and thought I would sit down and read you a passage. It'll be good for me to kind of wrap my head around everything that's been going on. I think all of us have been feeling incredibly overwhelmed. Some of you have already commented that like it's crazy living in a space that people are working in. They can be messy, the workers. It's also very dusty and loud and feels very invasive of like a safe space that we all call home. Yeah, I thought I would find a passage um, within the book and I found one. It's called, The Scattered Pieces Will Come Together. Scattered pieces. Sometimes we look around and that's what we see. Scattered pieces of ourselves, our lives, a project, a season of our lives. Where is the connecting thread, we wonder? How can we ever pull this together into something that makes sense, something with purpose, something with meaning? There are pieces to every whole, yet each piece is complete. Don't worry about how they will come together. Work joyfully on the peace that's before you, the peace that's in your life today. There are many pieces of you, many poets. The universe will help you bring all those poets alive. It will bring mirrors to you, people who will reflect those beautiful pieces back to you. Look in the mirror of your life. What pieces do you see reflected? No, it's you you're seeing. Then let that poet of you come alive. Pull in the poet of yourself the many beautiful poets that have come alive and beckon your warrior, your healer, your playful child. Bring together your professional self, your adult, the passionate part of you and the nurturing part. Let all the poets come together and don't send any of them away. You need all of them. Each is a beautiful piece of the soul, the life, the person you are. Trust, trust the process. Joy is yours, available for the asking and the desiring, even in the developmental stages, even before the puzzle has been put together. The scattered pieces will come together, the scattered pieces of yourself, your project, your life. The connecting thread is love. The picture will be beautiful, just wait and see. I really love that because the other day I was kind of using a metaphor of painting and I was talking with Justin about how, you know when you're like creating a piece of art or like making a painting or working on a project or building or renovating a house and it's like something that's a work in progress kind of feeling. I f was telling him how we're living inside that piece of art 
we are the piece of art. Like we are actively transforming the space that is around us and in turn like evolving ourselves through that whole experience and this whole experience that we're going through. And sometimes when I'm doing art, I get really just like frustrated and angry and like go through all these motions of having feelings towards what I'm creating of like frustration and just like not liking what it is turning out to be like or really liking certain aspects of it but then other areas are just like ugh, you know and all these different kind of emotions coming together to eventually in the end be a finished product that I love normally most of the time <laughs> but I feel like we are actively living in that space and so each day we're facing all these different emotions of you know being away from each other together the weather just every kind of variable that life throws your way and how we're learning to embrace them and find joy and be present and just like appreciate still each and every moment that we're going through where we are today because it is a part of our life and it is a part of our story, a part of this chapter which you've heard me talk about and I don't want to look back and be like oh wasted time, you know wasted opportunity to just embrace everything that's around us and experience hardship together and be here to support each other and it's just a really beautiful thing when you can kind of all be more observational on how you're reacting to certain emotions and just being able to yeah welcome them and love is just always the thing that you can kind of come back to like you have to still love your life even though it's chaotic and a whirlwind of shenanigans is going on all around us and like there's <coughs> everywhere and like things are in suitcases and boxes and there's junk here and there's the house is you know being torn apart like you still have to find a way to love where you are in life and be appreciative and grateful and just at peace I guess because it won't be like this forever and then you'll look back on it and be like oh well that was just a really crazy part of life that you know I probably won't ever regret or take back even though it was really hard in the moment so sending you all love I feel like there's a lot of energy out there right now that's so much happening in life for people and you know we're all connected we're all kind of going through the same thing there's a lot of negativity in our world that comes up and we just have to all kind of be here to support each other project hopefully positivity and joy and happiness and most of all love <laughs>